Hey there, superstars. It is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer, and coach from Live, Love, Give. And today I am coming to you with a message that may or may not turn into a little bit of a rant um, because I'm feeling really pumped up, super passionate about today's topic. I was actually gonna be bringing you something regarding um, an event that I went to last night, which was a beautiful women's circle. We dove deep into masculine energy, um, but I think I might have to put that one up my sleeve and save it for you guys maybe tomorrow because I'm really in and amongst um, today's message that I wanna deliver for you guys. And I'm in the hope that this is really going to be that kind of wake up call, be that kind of, uh, you know, kick up the bum to go, oh, all right, like it's simple. It's not this, uh, you know, this thing that I have to totally over overanalyze and get into procrastination about. And what I'm talking about is how to create true fulfillment in your life, all right? If you're someone who is in the same position really as you were maybe last year, maybe you're still complaining about the same things, maybe you're still lacking that fulfillment and you know you keep kind of talking about the fact that it's not so good or at least feeling it and maybe not really tapping into it, but you have that sense that you're not living to the highest capacity that you as an individual have the capacity to live to, then you're really going to get a lot of value from today's message, which is all around the three simple steps uh, to stop wasting your existence and finally make your life fulfilling. And this is a powerful one because it doesn't matter where I am in the world, it doesn't matter with what group I'm with, whether it's friends, family, uh, personal development events, people I'm just meeting, whether I'm meeting them, they're coming to me um, as a coach or you know, I'm in an environment where I'm learning from somebody else or whatever it is, Every single time I'm meeting and connecting with people who are lacking fulfillment in their lives and they have no idea how to turn, turn that around, how to transform that. And they feel lost and they feel paralyzed and they feel like they've been constantly searching, but they've just kind of begun, become resigned to their lives and they get into these habitual patterns that are keeping them stuck and limited and continuing the cycle of a lack of fulfillment fulfillment. All right. So I want to totally simplify this for you. All right. There is three steps in order to stop wasting your life and start creating real fulfillment right here, right now. And to make sure that you don't get to the end and go, whoa, what a waste. I wish I had done something different. I wish I had tried something different. I, I wish I had of, you know, tapped into that inner knowing that knew I had way more to give, experience, create, share everything in my life and I didn't do it. Don't wait, wait until it's too late. Use today's message to spark that fuel, or well, to spark that fire, be the fuel to the fire and, uh, and definitely be sharing these steps with anybody in your life that you can see is lacking fulfillment and you just see them show up every single day. Maybe they're a family member and at Christmas time, they're no better off. In fact, maybe their relationship is really going down the gurgler, right? Maybe their health is just going down. You're seeing people give up on life, all right? This is the kind of message you wanna be sharing with them. But first and foremost, you gotta apply it to yourself. Step number one. Oh yeah, all right. So step number one is you've got to get clear on what you value most, what matters most to you, not to everybody else, not to society, not what you think is expected of you, not what your friends or family kind of push you toward. Have you taken the time to get clear as for you as an individual as to what really matters to you? And not just what you think it should be, like a lot of people will say, oh, my family matters to me, or world peace matters to me, and maybe that stuff does, but you know, it, that's just kind of the common thing that we can just get saying. But at the end of the day, when you tap into what really lights you on fire, that is when you have the power to transform your entire life. And I use different um, modalities and different frameworks of personal um, personality uh, is a big piece of it. Looking at the individual that you are and helping you to uncover what your greatest strengths are. And I use a framework that will give you such clarity and direction over uncovering exactly what matters most to you. For instance, for me in particular, 
my what we call your genius we've all got a genius based on the workings the the mental processes that we have as key strengths for me personally those two cognitive functions that i use that become my genius are nicknamed harmony and perspectives now harmony is all about the group it's about bringing community together it's about getting people's needs met right it's about yeah that connection and that depth Perspectives is about what's going on inside of you, what's going on in your subconscious mind, what's this pattern, it's advanced pattern recognition in the internal world and coupled with harmony, you know, coupled with relationship dynamics, it gives me so much juice, you know, for me personally, what I value most is bringing particularly men and women together, particularly people back from the brink of breakup, you know, having having people understand each other for the first time, you know, well-intentioned people who want a loving, extraordinary quality of relationship, you know, having them finally understand one another and get on about channeling their energy towards something that's truly extraordinary and enlivening to their souls, right? That's one of my highest values, to, to be able to have that kind of impact, right? Uh, for other people, you know, I'll use my mum for example. She leads with a process called uh, memory and it's coupled with harmony as her secondary um, greatest strength. And that combination, her genius, is all about, you know, bringing the family together. You know, those th that combination is all about traditions and, you know, our family close, making our family really close knit and, you know, having that emotional harmony and connectiveness and, uh, you know, keeping those traditions alive and you know looking after um, th that family's health right so there's so many different elements here that can just help you to clarify what you value most and it just gives you such a great perspective all right and I've taken a bit of time with that one but that is step one right you have to get clear on what you value most and there's different frameworks that you can utilize to ultimately you know just help you you know help you cut out help you filter through all the things Things that are kind of thrown at us as to what we should be interested in, what we should value, cut through all the BS and get to the real heart of what drives you, what inspires you down to the core of who you are, okay? Nothing more powerful than step number one and you can't do step number two and step number three without it, all right? Step two is you've got to be growing and developing in alignment with what you value most, with what matters most to you, you've got to feel a sense of personal progress, right? That is so key. If we don't feel like we're growing and progressing as individuals, I don't care how old you are, I don't care whether you're studying something or you're at school in the same old old fashioned way of us growing and progressing, if you as an individual, whether you're eight or you're 80, don't feel like you're growing and progressing at some capacity in a meaningful way that's aligned with what matters most to you, you're not going to have fulfillment, all right? It is simple as that, but you've got to clarify what matters most to you. Then you've got to have a clear and distinct growth path toward, towards developing yourself and a sense of personal progress, ideally on a daily basis, in alignment with your highest values, what matters most to you. And then the third step is you, you know, you've got to have a sense that you are contributing to other people's lives. So you've got to contribute in alignment with what matters most to you, okay? The fact that we're all individual, um, it's meant to be like that, right? Like I'm meant to have different interests and different values to you. That's my genius, that's your genius. And if we are tapping fully into the depths of authenticity and what really inspires us on the individual level, we're growing ourselves and developing ourselves in alignment with that. And we're contributing those gifts to other people in a meaningful way, then you've got a fulfilling life and existence, okay? Not easy, definitely simple. And to just cut through all the BS, cut through all the procrastination, cut through all the I don't know what I want to do with my life, right? And I know that all too well because I lived majority of my life with that mindset of not, not knowing, right? Uh, but you've got to get beyond that. You've got to be able to future project. 
pace ahead to the end of your life, right? You want to be somebody who was in total alignment with what inspired you. You grew and developed yourself to the highest possible capacity that you could as an individual. And you knew that your life mattered because you contributed your gifts and you made a meaningful difference in your own unique way. All right. I'm super passionate. I knew this was going to turn into a rant. I hope it's been valuable to each and every one of you guys, but I'm just so sick and tired of seeing beautiful, extraordinary human beings just settle in life and just throw it to the sidelines, just thinking I'll never know. Oh, well, that's for other people and just get stuck in the old habits of just habitual living that's not fulfilling, that's just going from distraction to distraction and ultimately destruction um, of what could be a truly beautiful existence. So I hope this has served you. I can't wait to check in with you guys in the comments. So let me know, um, was this a good message for you? Did you get some value? Was it a good firecracker for you and uh, and definitely hope it's woken you up and hope it's added some value to your life. Please do share this message with anybody in your life who is stuck in just that habitual way of being and you know deep down they're actually empty. Maybe they're traveling the world. Maybe their life on the outside looks all roses, right? But there's something about them. You know like they're really just not living life. They're not growing. They're not really contributing. You know, they're just flying from one whim to the next and it might look all exciting, but you know, like it's an emptiness there. Okay. Save people, you know, save the people that you care most about by waking them up to what they're blind to and caring enough to, you know, to be willing to not be liked in the short term so that you can wake people up to something that's powerful, that will get them to shift their perspective and actually go about accessing their genius and uh, delivering it to the world. And, and that doesn't have to be on from the world stage. That can be within their family and their friendship groups. It doesn't matter at what level. It just matters that you're in alignment with what inspires you, you're growing and developing in alignment with that, that inspiration and what you value and what matters most to you and you're contributing in only the way that you could contribute based on your inspiration and how you're developing yourself, okay? All right, enough of a rant. I need to check in with you guys. Let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. Have you got any words of wisdom that you'd love to share with us? And also, I've got a good freebie for you guys. Any of you guys who would love to discover your genius and work out, you know, what's going on in the workings of your mind. I've put together a three-part video series for you guys, um, which you can access on my website. I don't know if I put the link or not, but I'll put it on straight after here or just go to vanessajanepatrick.com and you'll see it right up the top. Free gift for all of you guys. And I've got a super exciting message I want to deliver tomorrow, but I had to go on my rant um, topic today. Um, but yeah, really from a beautiful women's circle that I went to um, yesterday evening, which was super powerful, but I have some deep insights that I really want to share with you guys that I know will add value to you and to your relationships and to your attraction in those relationships. All right. Let's go. I've got Melissa and uh, Dariush. Dariush, good to see you. And Judy and uh, Chul Chula Pong. Chula Pong, I should practice your name. Great to see you. Ty's here and Grant and uh, Dariush. Dariush. Uh, very interesting. Listen to you in the background. I love it. Dariush. Dariush. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to say it. I wish you guys could talk back to me and let me know exactly how to say it. But anyway, I love that you're finding this uh, today's topic interesting. And you've got that going on in the background. Awesome. And Grant, you're in Delhi, India. I love that. So, so cool. A place I am have yet to travel to, but Indian is one of my favorite ever cuisines and I'm fascinated by Indian culture. So I cannot wait to get there at some stage. Um, awesome to have you. And Gabrielle, much love to you, beautiful. Um, thank you for this message. I'm so grateful that it's resonated for you and I hope to see you beautiful tomorrow. I've got the next masterclass. Oh, installment part two of the Enneagram coming to you guys live tomorrow, 10 a.m. Aussie time. Um, if you've got for you guys in the States, it'll be your Sunday night um, and or Sunday afternoon tonight. And uh, can't wait for all of you guys who are in the masterclasses to deliver this part two in the three part series on the deep dive on the Enneagram. 
Hope you guys have um, definitely nailed down which of the nine types you are in the first part. We're going to go super deep and granular and get maximum value out of this amazing wisdom and tradition of the Enneagram. So can't wait to share that with you. And uh, any of you guys who aren't currently part of the masterclasses, you can find out a little bit more about what that is and what you get access to um, on my website, vanessajanepatrick.com. Just scroll down, you'll see it all there. And uh, great to see you, Gabrielle. And Jerry's in the house. I love it. Nice to have you live, my friend. Hope you're doing amazingly well. And Desmond is here. The rain. Oh my gosh, I hope you're still here. So good to see you. I'd love to catch up. It's been way too long. And uh, Chulapong. Chul <sighs> Um, super interesting topic. It happens to people in our everyday life. Thanks for bringing it up. I love that that's resonated with you and you're seeing that pattern play out. I see it everywhere. And so, you know, waking people up to this fact is only going to help you and only going to help all of us as a whole, you know, to have people tapping into what they're inspired by, you know, when you're inspired, you're willing to push through the pain and the challenge that is associated with growth. And when we grow and we're focused on contributing, we only up level everybody else, right? What's that saying about, you know, the tide rising and bringing all the boats with it? I don't know, but it's that, right? So I love that Chulapong and uh, Jerry. Right there now outside the comfort zone, moving forward. Boom, I love hearing that, Jerry. That's so, so cool. And uh, congratulations to you. And uh, Linda, such a great, such a good message. I love hearing that, Linda. Great to have you here, beautiful. Love that this is resonating. And Grant, love watching your juices flow. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm getting really pumped up because there's so many people in my life who are dearly close to me who are affected by this topic. And so, yeah, I am. I'm really passionate about it. And it's totally in alignment with the mission that I'm on to help people wake up to who they are, what they want, and have the courage to go after it. So, I love that, Grant. Thank you, my friend. And Bobby's here. And Jerry, awesome. Thanks. You're so welcome. Beautiful. Oh, I'm a beautiful human being, I should say. And uh, Bobby, hello to you. Shift my thinking from Los Angeles. I love it, Bobby. I hope um, namaste to you as well. And that's awesome. And Heath is here as well. And Chulapong. By the way, I am now in the South Island of New Zealand. Oh my gosh. I love the South Island. I love Queenstown. It's one of my absolute favorite places in the world. Um, so I hope you're seriously enjoying it um, and hope you're getting some skiing in and having some fun there. So great to hear from you. And uh, Carl's here as well. And uh, Bobby, I'm grateful that this is a great message for you. And Craig has just joined as well. So guys, that is my message for you. Remember, these are the three simple not so easy steps uh, that will ultimately allow you to stop wasting your existence and start creating true fulfillment in your lives. Okay. So remember step one, get clear on what you really truly values, what matters most to you on the, in, uh, on an individual level. Step two, you've got to grow and develop yourself in alignment with what matters most to you. And step three, you've got to contribute those gifts, right? Make sure that your life is having a, making a meaningful difference in the life of at least just one other person. That's all it takes to create fulfillment in your life. Okay, so don't forget those steps. I hope this message has been powerful for you. I hope you'll share it with some amazing other human beings who might be settling in their lives right now. And I hope to see you guys in the masterclasses next one coming up at 10 a.m. Aussie time tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait to deliver that for you guys and get to connect with you live. Um, and if you want to join, you can on my website, vanessajanepatrick.com and also sign up for that free gift, that free three part video series on discovering your genius that I've put together for you that I hope you get maximum value from. And, uh, Craig, you plan to visit Australia. I think it's a great choice. Definitely be doing that, my friend. And as always, guys, I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering. And today's message has definitely served you. And I hope that you're going to take that next step into these three key steps to creating your most fulfilling life and stop hanging out on the sidelines of what could be a truly fulfilling and juicy experience. Okay, I'm signing off. I'm sending you guys all of my love and I'll see you again soon.